哈。Hi kids, I'm Zookeeper Zip, and this is our awesome dinosaur show. As always, I have my best friend Bruno with me. Say hi, Bruno. Brock, hi, Bruno. Today's dinosaur is amazing. It starts with a B and is one of the biggest dinosaurs of them all. Brock, it's big. It is, Bruno. It's a brontosaurus.、Ah! Can you say brontosaurus? Brock, fucking bronco. Close, Bruno. Like this. Bron to sore us brontosaurus. Brock brontosaurus. Good job, Bruno. Let's use the time simulator and see what one looks like. Brock, big boy. He's huge, Bruno. The brontosaurus was about 75 feet or 23 meters long and 40 feet or 12 meters tall. They weighed about 25 tons. That's as much as 12 cars. It took about 10 years to reach full size, and they lived for about a hundred years. Brock, that's old. It is, Bruno. They lived about as long as a turtle. The Brontosaurus was a sauropod that lived in the late Jurassic period, over 150 million years ago. They lived in the western part of North America. Brock, why are you? That's right, Bruno. In 1879, fossils were found in Wyoming. Though archaeologists have never found a brontosaurus skull. Brontosaurus means thunder lizard. Brock, cool name. It's an awesome name, Bruno. Brontosaurus is a herbivore and had the smallest brain. Brock, he brain. That's funny, Bruno. The brontosaurus had nostrils. On top of its head. Brock, he's back. Oh no, the T-Rex! We gotta get out of here. Brock, he's coming, Zip. Wow, that gets scarier each time. Brock, almost peed my pants. Very funny, Bruno. You don't have pants, but it was frightening. Okay, kids, that ends today's show. But we'll be back next week with more dinosaurs and more learning fun. Say bye, Bruno. Brock. Hi, Bruno. Hi, kids. I'm Zookeeper Zip, and this is our awesome dinosaur show. As always, I have my best friend Bruno with me. Say hi, Bruno. Brock. Hi, kids. Today's dinosaur is kind of scary. It starts with an S and has spines on its back. Brock. Porcupine. Nice try, Bruno. But the answer is Spinosaurus. Can you say Spinosaurus? Brock. Can't say it. Okay, Bruno. Try this. Spine o sore us. Spinosaurus. Brock. Spinosaurus. That's it, Bruno. Let's use the time simulator and see what it looks like. Brock. Uh oh. Uh oh is right, Bruno. I wouldn't want to run into this guy. The Spinosaurus was the largest carnivore. Brock eats me. That's right, Bruno. He was even bigger than a T-Rex. They lived during the Cretaceous period, about 100 million years ago. Fossils were found in Brock, Montana. Not this time, Bruno. Fossils were found in Egypt. Brock, Africa. That's right, Bruno. The Spinosaurus was around 60 feet or 18 meters long, and 20 feet or 6 meters tall. It could weigh as much as 20 tons. Brock, that's heavy. It is, Bruno. The Sp- Spinosaurus were probably fish eaters. They lived on land as well as water. Spinosaurus means spine lizard. The spines on its back were about six feet or two meters high. The Spinosaurus had straight teeth, unlike other dinosaurs who had. Brock, he's here. The T-Rex is back. Brock, hurry, Zip. He's close. Closer and closer each time, Bruno. Okay, kids, that ends today's show. But we'll be back next week with more dinosaurs and more learning fun. Say bye, Bruno. Brock, bye, kids. Hi, kids. I'm Zookeeper Zip, and this is our awesome dinosaur show. As always, I have my best friend Bruno with me. Say hi, Bruno. 
Brock, hi, Bruno. Today's dinosaur is kind of scary, too. It's like a mini T-Rex. It starts with an A and was one of the fastest of all dinosaurs. Brock, asteroid. Asteroids are fast, Bruno. But the answer is Allosaurus. Can you say Allosaurus? Brock, aluminum. Almost, Bruno. Like this. al o sor us Allosaurus. Brock, Allosaurus. Nice work, Bruno. Let's use the time simulator and see what one looks like. Brock, it's scary. They are scary, Bruno. The Allosaurus was a carnivore. Brock, eats me. Scientists say they hunted in packs like wolves. Allosaurus are theropods who run on two feet. They lived in the late Jurassic period about 150 million years ago. Fossils were found in Brock, Wyoming. That's right, Bruno. But they were also found in Utah, Colorado, Portugal, and even Siberia. Brock, that's far. It is, Bruno. The Allosaurus was about 40 feet or 12 meters long and 16 feet or 5 meters tall. It weighed about 4 tons. Allosaurus means different lizard. They had over 60 curved teeth, some as long as four inches. The Allosaurus used their tail for balance. Brock, uh-oh, Zip. The T-Rex, he's after us. Brock, he's coming. That's scary, Bruno. Brock, can I open my eyes? Yes, Bruno, we're safe now. Back in the treehouse. Okay, kids, that ends today's show, but we'll be back next week with more dinosaurs and more learning fun. Say bye, Bruno. Brock, bye, Bruno. Hi, kids. I'm Zookeeper Zip, and this is our awesome dinosaur show. As always, I have my best friend Bruno with me. Say hi, Bruno. Brock, hi, Bruno. Today's dinosaur is super cool. It starts with a P and has wings. Brock, a parrot. Very funny, Bruno. But you're not a dinosaur. The answer is pterodactyl. Can you say pterodactyl? Brock, terrible tractor. So close, Bruno. Like this. Ter o dactyl. Pterodactyl. Brock, pterodactyl. Great job, Bruno. That's a tough one. Let's use the time simulator and see how cool they look. Brock, he's got wings. He does, Bruno, just like you. The pterodactyl wasn't actually a dinosaur. It was a pterosaur, or winged lizard. The pterodactyl was a quadruped. Brock, four feet. That's right, Bruno. They walked on four feet, like bats do. Pterodactyl means winged finger. They lived in the late Triassic period to the end of the Cretaceous period. Fossils were found in Africa, and Europe. Pterodactyls were about four feet, or over a meter long. Their wingspan was about two and a half feet, or almost one meter. They glided through the air at around 60 miles per hour, or 96 kilometers per hour. They weighed about 10 pounds. The pterodactyls were carnivorous. Rock eats me. That's right, Bruno, but they probably ate some fruits as well. They had many razor-sharp teeth to eat fish with. Pterodactyls have an extended beak for... Uh, T-Rex zip. He found us. Uh, uh-oh. Let's get out of here, Bruno. Wow, Bruno. He was so close. Brock, scary. Okay, kids. That ends today's show. But we'll be back next week with more dinosaurs and more learning fun. Say bye, Bruno. Brock. Bye, Bruno. Hi, kids. I'm Zookeeper Zip, and this is our awesome dinosaur show. As always, I have my best friend Bruno with me. Say hi, Bruno. Brock, hi, Bruno. Today's dinosaur is totally awesome. It starts with an N and lives underwater. Brock, Nutria. Nice try, Bruno. Nutria do swim in water, but the answer is Nothosaurus. Can you say Nothosaurus? Brock, not really. Okay, Bruno. Like this. Na, tho, sore, us. 
Nothosaurus. Not Nothosaurus. Great job, Bruno. Let's use the time simulator and see what they look like. Brock, underwater. That's right, Bruno. The Nothosaurus spent most of its time in water, but they probably slept on land, like seals do. Nothosaurus means false lizard. They lived in the Triassic period, over 250 million years ago. Fossils have been found all over the world, but mostly in Europe, Asia, and Africa. Nothosaurus wasn't a dinosaur. They were marine reptiles who probably evolved into the plesiosaurs. Nothosaurus were carnivores. Brock, eat me. That's right, Bruno. They fed on fish and crustaceans like crabs. They ranged in size from six feet or two meters to 20 feet or six meters. They weighed up to 200 pounds. The Nothosaurus were powerful swimmers with long slender necks and tails. They had many sharp teeth too. Brock, he's close. How did the T-Rex find us? Brock, hurry zip. That's always scary, Bruno. Okay kids, that ends today's show, but we'll be back next week with more dinosaurs and more learning fun. Say bye, Bruno. Bye, Bruno. Bye, Bruno.